to my channel today we are going to have another talk show and the topic IVF good or bad wow such an interesting topic for me IVF is a good option for people who have problems such as blood or damaged fallopian tubes, women with ovulation disorders, male factors infertility, including decreased sperm count or sperm motility. What is then IVF? It simply means in vitro fertilization. This is a process of fertilization whereby an egg is combined with sperm outside the body. The process involves monitoring and stimulating a woman's ovulation process, removing an ovum or ova, that is the egg, from the woman's ovaries and letting sperm fertilize them in a liquid in a laboratory then reintroducing the early embryo to the uterus. Once this egg is being collected and fertilized, it is called embryo, it becomes an embryo. Then the gynecologist or healthcare provider will then reintroduce this embryo back to your uterus where it will stay until implantation. After the fertilization of egg in natural conceiving, it takes about 5 to 12 days before implantation will take place. This is the period where you can check whether you are positive or negative. And I also want to use this medium to correct the misconception which people have concerning IVF. IVF is not a bad idea, rather it is a very good idea. For people who has the problem that I have listed above, for example, if you have premature ovarian failure, the best option for you is IVF. Because they may tell you that this problem can be solved, but it takes more time. Let's assume you are 40 and you have this problem, you have been taking drugs for over uh, five years and nothing has happened. It is better for you to go for IVF. If you have a damaged tubes, IVF is an option. If you have irregular ovulation, IVF is an option because it will confuse you. You may not know the exact month that you are ovulating. For example, if you have ovulation disorder, you may ovulate this month. Next month, you will not ovulate. The upper month, you will ovulate. The upper one, you will not ovulate. It will not help you to plan your pregnancy. The IVF is another option for you. So people who felt or who believe that IVF is not a proper way of conceiving. I said this is a very wrong idea. That is absolutely not correct. IVF and natural way of conceiving is almost the same thing. The only difference there is the approach or method that is being used. In the natural way of conceiving, this happens internally when the sperm meets with the egg and it fertilizes internally. But in IVF, this is being done outside the womb. 
So, if you want to conceive and you have the above mentioned problem, I advise you to use IVF. And the most advantageous thing in IVF is that you may be lucky. You will have more than one type. You may have quadrat, triplets, twins, and this is a very good advantage because you just put to bed once and rest. So if you want to do IVF, I encourage you, I advise you to do it. Do not listen to what people will say because in this earth or in this world, what else? People must talk. If you do a good thing, people will say there are people who are designed as fault finders. Whatever. They must find a fault in it. So, if you have this problem, go for IVF. Do what will please you, what will make you happy, what will make you to feel like a woman that you always want to feel like. What will, what will benefit you and your partner. Do not listen to side talk, what people will tell you. Maybe they will say, you will feel like if I, if I do IVF now, people will say, if it is not for IVF, she wouldn't have conceived. They can say it. It's your money. It's your option. It's your life. It's your child. And besides, the IVF children are also the same thing as Norm, uh, children that are being conceived normally, there is no different. You want to put to bed, for example, you have contract, you cannot deliver them at once. The, the gynecologist or the healthcare provider may ask you to go for an operation, but you do not have the energy to push. The, the child is being delivered healthy and sound. Everything, every system in this child's body functions properly. So I emphasized, if you have the problems that I have mentioned and you have the money to carry on for IVF, go for it. I encourage you, go for it. It is a very good option. So I know that you understand what I'm saying. I am talking like this because I want to pay much emphasis on this because most of the time when people want to do something, they always think of what others will say. No, think of what will benefit you, not others because others are not living your life with you. They are not in your heart. They are not in your mind. They do not know the pains you are passing through. They do not know what you are suffering. It is only you who is carrying the cross of childlessness. They do not know. So, if you want to listen to them, go ahead and listen. But if you do not want and you have the money to do IVF and you have the, uh, you are among the above listed problems, go for it. And please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to encourage me so that I'll have the strength to talk more. See you to the next video. I love you.